chapter 9. And this will answer some of the questions that you had concerning continental drift. It is interesting that there is not an even distribution of animals. In other words, we find animals on some continents that we don't find animals on others. Evolutionists try to explain that, that there was a separate evolution that occurred in different places to form different kinds of animals. That's one of their explanations. Except in zoos, I think the only place you find kangaroos are in Australia. I, I've never seen kangaroos hopping around any place but in zoos or something like that. So how do we answer questions like that? How, how come kangaroos in Australia and not other places in the earth today? Why aren't there kangaroos near Mount Ararat today? You know, Mount Ararat somewhere in Turkey. If they all got off the ark, why aren't there kangaroos in Turkey? You ever had that question asked you? Do you think kangaroos were on the ark? I did. I think there was two of every kind. How did they get to Australia? Why aren't they around Mount Ararat today? Well, let me ask you another question. Were there ever lions and bears in Israel? How do we know there were lions? Samson killed them. David killed them. Didn't he say I killed a bear and a lion? But they aren't there today. What happened? I think that probably what happened to kangaroos is I think man just killed them. They're not hard to kill, I don't think. They just, just killed them off. question is, how did they get to the island of Australia? I'm going to give you four theories. I don't know the answer. This is a tough question, but I'll give you which one I like best. The first explanation is the explanation was called continental drift theory, called Pangea. Unfortunately, they try to tell you that this was, you can't really see it, 225 million years ago, Pangea, and then 200 million years ago, it split like that. And I can barely read this here, 35 million years ago, and this is present. And this is their theory. They try to tell you that the Earth broke up. When you look at South America and Africa, it's possible there was one landmass. In fact, the Bible would almost hint at that. Because it says on the third day, let dry land appear. It doesn't say plurals. So I think it's very possible before the flood that there was one land mass. I do not agree that the continents are moving just a couple inches a year and that it's taken millions of years to do this. I don't do that. I think if this did happen, then it probably happened during and after the flood. Fountains of the deep broke open and it busted the earth wide open and, and that's when I would put it. But why would have kangaroos only been on this chunk here and not the others elsewhere? So that is one possible theory. A second theory is that there were floating islands of vegetation and trees. They have cited some of these, but the question then, well, why did they flow to Australia? A third theory is that humans put them in boats and took them. It's like they took their pet kangaroos. I have a little problem with that, but that's a theory. The fourth theory is a theory called intercontinental land bridges. Any of you know what this is between Alaska and Russia? It's called the Bering Strait. It's very feasible that that was connected above water at one time. It's not very deep right now. It's also, as you can see, North America and South America is connected. Very feasible that this is connected both from Europe to the islands here. There are what's called intercontinental land bridges. In other words, first the ice age, after the flood, this was probably above water. And then after the ice melted, after the flood, that these things became covered with water. So if anybody would ask me how kangaroos got there, I'd probably say they hopped there. And one didn't hop all the way, but they hopped and so forth. And then what happened to the others? They just became extinct in other places. And the climate became different. It wasn't a tutable for them. I can't tell that positively. But what I'm saying is certainly is feasible explanation, certainly more feasible when we get into it, than that kangaroos evolved in Australia. Now that doesn't make any sense at all.